All right, the dynasty wrapped up on Friday, and we got the episode that mentions the Malcolm Butler Super Bowl benching back in 2017. We're still searching for a specific explanation, but Robert Kraft offered up more than I ever expected, and I thought it was significant. Here's what he said. What has been told to me is that there was something personal going on between Belichick and Malcolm. It was not football-related. I always felt that every decision that Bill had made had been to put what was in the best interest of the team first and put emotion aside. But with Malcolm, he did just the opposite. Okay, I think this is a whopper. This is the owner of the team on the record in, to this point, probably the, you know, the singular historical document of that time saying that the Malcolm Butler benching was because something was going on. In other words, a lot of the, the less sinister explanations that have been thrown at us. We've heard, All of oh, them. he had a concussion. Not a concussion. He, oh, he had the flu. So he wasn't feeling well. He missed. Uh, it was disciplinary. He missed some practices or some. Not football related. Personal. Emotional. So we don't know exactly what it is. But now we know that what it is is one of these sort of catty, gossipy stories that we've all heard different incarnations of. That's what it is. And the owner told us so. I find that amazing. I thought, I thought this, these episodes were, were incredible. And there's a lot of people that think they uh, glean a lot of information from them. Are you kidding me? Episodes 9 and 7 in the Dynasty, there was so much that was given to you that you've really never heard or heard for the first time. And what you're saying, Michael, uh, is, is, abso is absolutely true. It, I mean, it's, it's incredible. I mean, they no one ever really from from the powers that be there has talked about that issue, wanted to comment on that issue, and there's Robert Kraft saying that it was it was personal. Look, I've always I'm on, I've been on record for talking about the vindictiveness or the pettiness of Bill Belichick, and I'm sorry. There's a part of me that's like, you know, I'm not. I wasn't making that up. I mean, that clearly was a petty, vindictive, uh, irresponsible decision by Bill Belichick in the biggest game, and it was nice that somebody. Uh, in that front office for the Patriots admitted that and told us so. I hate to be the journalistic speed bump here, but let me ask you this. Um, don't you think there are a couple of follow-up questions missing on this? Because it is fascinating. You're right. Fascinating. Malcolm Butler, uh, Robert Kraft says, it was what was told to me. Follow-up question is, told to you by whom? And follow-up to that is, did Bill tell you? Did you hear this? from? Did you talk to Bill about it? Because that matters to me. It, it, because it, it speaks to the whole dysfunction and the tension. Did Bill, t did you ask Bill, hey, Bill, why didn't you play Malcolm Butler? Or ha are you just like the rest of us? Mm. Did you have hearsay from another coach, another player? Did, are you, did you confront okay. your head coach uh, and ask him? And all due respect, because you played a big role in this series and you were great, this wasn't journalism, okay? Oh, I know. oh, oh believe me, I know. This I was, know. This was infotainment. Which I'm, all, which I'm all in favor of. And the purpose was to blame Bill for what happened at the end of the dynasty. So that's what was going on Oh, no, on it there. was not journalism. I know that. I, I said that from the start. This was more, this was a dramatic, this was based on, this was based on a book. And so there were dramatic elements or things that were left out. And some, some even some um, football stuff that fans, uh, Patriots fans say, well, why didn't you take that? Why didn't you take that? Because that wasn't the purpose of it. But if you really want to know what happened with Malcolm Butler, don't, aren't you curious about what Kraft means by that? Like, why doesn't he know? Why doesn't the owner know? You're right, Mike. We got this on the record from Robert Kraft. But if Robert Kraft's going to go that far, shouldn't the owner know more? It may be, uh, I think he, right. he might, but and he, he's just he's not saying. I don't think. I just think it would be very irresponsible of Robert Kraft. And I just can't imagine Robert Kraft throwing out the term personal. If he didn't know for a fact right. it was a per that's that's Belichick would never forgive him. He said for putting it was that, told to me. Okay, but, but listen, there. we're listen, phrasing Mike, though. Listen, we're phrasing. They've all signed NDAs. They're now they're not allowed to say what happened. They've all agreed not to say what happened. I mean, we have, this is obvious by this point. So how far can Kraft go? This is how far he can go. Someone told to me that it was personal and non-football. That doesn't give you any specifics. Probably doesn't violate any agreement, but gives you just enough to know that it was. Bulk, you know, the, that, that shouldn't have happened, and that was on Bill. And, I, again, that Robert was willing to go there, I find it fascinating. The, also, the key tenet of this whole thing is that Kraft wants to give himself credit for keeping this thing together. I don't give him as much as he wants to give himself, but you do, Ted. You think Kraft does deserve that credit. I do. I mean, it was hammered throughout the last two episodes. that he was, you know, He played a key part in keeping them together, and I, I really think he did. 
I think the last four or five years, Robert Kraft was the conduit between the two in, in the buffer. And I think he had a huge part in kind of keeping Tom engaged and signing contracts and still wanting to kind of re-up. So if it comes down to, you know, look, I don't know if they win those last two Super Bowls. If, you know, obviously if Tom Brady's not on this team, they're not. And I think Robert Kraft had a huge part in just keeping Tom here enough to kind of overcome what he was dealing with with Belichick. I'll give him credit for that. So if, if I'm going to give him credit for that, then he's got to be a part of the whole operation, though, too. Can't say, well, well, Bill did this and Bill did that. And if you hmm. kept it together, then you are a part of the, the problems that you speak of. You're a part of that, too. Like you said, you don't like Bill making Tom go off to Tampa. But then on, on, on the record, he says, I said to Tommy, I'll make it so you can go. So you, <laughs> you didn't say you must stay. You, you kind of, yeah. you, 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 you provided runway for Tom Brady to leave. Now you're blaming Belichick for getting him out of there. The person I've always given credit to for keeping it together is Brady himself. Yeah. Okay? There are not many quarterbacks who accomplished what he accomplished that wouldn't have demanded the big contract, which he never did till the very end, or would have put up with the way Bill treated him. Most superstar quarterbacks want to be coddled, and they want to be highly paid. And if Brady wanted either of those things, there's nothing Kraft could have done. Right. No, Brady was willing to take the treatment, and that's why it stood And that was, that's what made the whole ecosystem work. That was why the Patriots had as much success as they had the whole time. It's because of the dynamic you just said. Tom Brady was willing to take all of that and sacrifice himself for the good of and, everybody. And as soon as he wasn't, as soon as Giselle got into him and let him know his worth and sort of maybe changed right. his worldview, yep. as soon as Brady wasn't willing to accept it, that's when it fell apart and there's nothing Kraft could have done about it. Real quickly, why do you think uh, Bill couldn't admit that he was wrong on, on Brady? Like it, it was clear. It was, he was wrong. He brought in Jimmy Garoppolo. Brady had a lot more left than Bill thought he did. Why couldn't he admit it? Because it'd be the first time he's ever admitted he was wrong <laughs> in anything. That's <laughs> exactly. why. That's, so, that's pretty that's much it. Simple as that.